to the George Mans Coins YouTube channel. Um, here again with George Mans, and where our latest episode is on the 1935 Bank of Canada notes. Um, what makes these notes so special, George? Well, a, a number of things. Um, first of all, um, 1935 was the 25th anniversary of King George V being uh, crowned. He became king in 1910, and 25 years later, this was the 25th anniversary of of uh, his reign, so the Government of Canada, um, two things happened. One is they made a Bank of Canada, um, which then had the right to issue notes, pretty much all notes um, were, were issued. And, and it gave So with this, sorry, with the 1935 Bank of Canada founded? Right. Okay. Actually founded in 34, but... Oh, first, so the first series issued in 1935. Okay. And um, so they I issued um, a, a series of notes, um, uh, one, two, five, ten. There are two varieties of 20. There's a $25 note. There are 50s, 100s, 500s, and $1,000 notes. This is part uh, one on the ones, twos, and fives. Um, they issued them in, these are unilingual. So they have Bank of Canada, and they have Bank du Canada. Okay. Bank of Canada, Bank du Canada, Bank of Canada, Bank du Canada. So in terms of circulation for the, the French version, would that be primarily Quebec, New Brunswick? Yes. Uh, yes. Where the majority were Francophone. Yes. Would they distribute it still to the some like to the pockets like I know in some pockets of provinces like Manitoba and Saskatchewan we have yes francophone communities would yes. they be issued the they they would have also the vast majority of the French ones were were issued in Montreal and some of them would have gotten out to other provinces as well including New Brunswick so a small number went into what we would call Anglo Canada okay um, the, so three quarters of them were made in English, and about a quarter of them were made in French, roughly. Proportional, pr pr yeah. proportional to yeah. population at yeah. that time in 1935. Yeah. So uh, the, the, the $1 note has King George uh, V on it, and on the reverse it has the, an, an allegory of agriculture. A woman um, with two cornucopias filled with food, grains, apples, different kinds of, of food. Uh, the $2 note um, displays um, Queen Mary, King George's um, wife, and the reverse is the allegory of transportation. Uh, we have Mercury here with his, his wings. Um, we have ships, we have a, a plane here, and we have a couple of trains here. Um, the $5 note features um, Prince Edward, who was the eldest son. He became king the following year, 1936, on the death of his, uh, of his father. Um, and the reverse has the allegory of, of um, power. Um, he, 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 um, this uh, god is sitting on, on a dam. And there's a turbine right in there with that. In there with it, and you can see, yeah, it's and I guess with this too, also with with, with Edward becoming king the next year, this is a very it's an almost a turning point one mm -hmm. because it'd be a whole reissue of, with coins going forward with his right his him being of the obverse of the coins. Mm -hmm. So um, these are all beautiful too, and it starts to show the first where Canada starts to use. I guess this is where we set the precedent of using different colors for different notes um, that we followed through to this day? Uh, or? Yes, um, there, there, uh, other notes were, di were uh, other colors as well, but um, mostly they have remained uh, somewhat, uh, you know, the ones have all mostly been green. Um, the twos eventually became this color. Yeah. The fives became blue. blue. Um, and the tens were purple. Um, Etc. So, yeah, they're, they're, it's beautiful, and, and even just the allegories on the back. We'll, when we do the close-ups, we'll do. The, you've probably already seen the close-ups with these. You can see the greater detail that they put into these, and yeah, it's, these are just beautiful, beautiful notes. 
Anything else we should know about them? Well, uh, eventually I'll, I'll, we'll do a, a couple of more um, uh, on, on this series. Uh, we'll, we'll do the uh, $10, tw uh, $20, uh, and $25 notes. And uh, later on we'll also do the $50 and $100 notes. Uh, I will probably never be able to... Uh, Part four will never happen? Yeah, the, the, the 500 and $1,000 notes from this series are are extremely rare and extremely expensive and I doubt I'll ever, I'll ever own one. You said that you just came into these just joined your collection. Um, well, some of them were in my collection before, but okay. some of them are new as well. Some of them are new as well. Um, what, we talk about this in pretty much every episode because it, it's just, you know, my curiosity out of it. How much are still out there in circulation? It, you know, well, there's quite a few. There's, there's, there's many, many, many thousands of uh, ones and twos. Uh, the, the larger the denomination, the smaller, the smaller, the smaller, the smaller the circulation. There are. Okay. Because, um, and, and one of the reasons was because uh, King George died in in January 1936, and his eldest son Edward became king, and then he abdicated uh, less than eleven months later. And his uh, younger brother George became George the Sixth. So we had new money in 1937. So in 1937 they started withdrawing 1935 issued notes. Okay. So they're much harder to get than 1937s. Okay. Yeah, because it, it sounds like a tumultuous time when it comes to representation of the monarchy on currency mm -hmm. with that whole 35, 36, 37 with. The, the turnover like that. Yeah, these are all beautiful notes. And like we said, this is part one of these of this currency, and we'll get to part two, part three, and uh, eventually a part three, and then part four was the dream episode, as we right. call it. So um, we'll wrap it up there today. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments and send them to us via Twitter. As usual, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Bye.